Today, we test Super Mario 3D World with lots of green stars, gigantic glowing green stars, strange green stars, and I'll explain why the maximum number of green stars in a level is 32, but we're going to add more than 32 green stars anyway. If you collect three green stars in a level, you'd expect to have three green stars awarded to you after you complete the level, but here's an example that might be unexpected. 30 is normally the maximum number of green star slots that show up on this side here. If you collect 30 green stars in a level, you can fill up all 30 slots here. How many green stars would you expect Mario to be given when he completes the level? Well, let's see. You're given just three. And when you look at the bubble that pops out of the level, you can see that there are only three green stars to collect in this level. That's because there are separate files that keep track of how many green stars appear in a level and how many green stars Mario can collect from a level. If you edit both of these files to say that there are 30 green stars in the level, you can see that the bubble that pops out has 30 stars now. Now you can collect all 30 stars once you're in the level and you'll be given all 30 stars when you leave the level. The default value for the number of green stars in the stage list.byml file is 3 for the level Super Bell Hill. So if you edit that value to be higher, then you're awarded more green stars after collecting them in the level. You might be wondering, will this work if you add more than 30 green stars? So I edited Super Bell Hill to give you 50 green stars. You can see that before you enter the level, the stars take up a lot of space on the bubble, extending into weird areas, and once you enter the level, you have all 50 green stars in place, and they're very shiny. But you'll notice that there are still only 30 slots for the green stars on the side of the screen here. This area normally shows up to 30 green stars, even if you have more than 30 green stars to collect in the level. As Mario starts to collect the stars, you can see the stars filling up the empty spaces on the side of the screen. Mario is happy to be collecting these stars. The game is a bit laggy when there are so many animations going on and there's a lot going on with the lights, and each star is giving Mario 4,000 points. Mario collected the first 30 stars, and all of the star slots are filled up. There are still 20 more new green stars for Mario to collect, and if he collects these, he still gets 4,000 points for each star, but there aren't any new slots on the side of the screen. So let's complete the level and see how many stars Mario has given for completing this level. And the star counter keeps going up past 30, it goes all the way up to 50, even though there are only 30 slots on the side of the screen. And when you look at the bubble that pops out of the level, it's funny to see how far these green stars extend out, and they cover part of the bottom where it shows which characters have completed the level. If you enter the level again, all 50 of the stars are going to be grey now because they've already been collected, and the interesting thing to point out here is that the game is much less laggy when you're collecting grey stars compared to green stars. And what I'm about to show you was the most unexpected part of this entire testing. You might know that if you get the final green star in a level, you hear a special applause sound. I was wondering what would happen if we set up a level so that there are a lot of green stars to be awarded, but when you go into the actual level, there's only one green star to collect. If you collect this one green star and you hear the applause sound, when you complete the level, you think that you'll be awarded only one green star because you only collected one green star? Or do you think you'll be awarded all 50 green stars because you heard the applause sound that plays when you collect all the green stars in a level? You might be shocked to find that the answer was, you get two green stars. I double checked that there weren't accidentally two stars on top of each other, and I even checked the video again, and Mario only got 4000 points, so there's no way that two stars were on top of each other. And this might surprise you, if you check the level bubble, the two green stars that you get are the first green star, and the 33rd green star. If you've ever studied computer science, you might already know what is happening, but this experiment should show you clearly what is happening. Let's change the ID of this green star to make it the second green star instead of the first green star, and let's see what happens. As you can see, you are now given green star number 2 and green star number 34. So it looks like for every 32 green stars, the ID is repeated. Green star 2 and 34 have the same ID, green star 3 and 35 have the same ID, and so on. This is why you can only add 32 unique green stars to a level. Any extra green stars that you add after 32 will start to act like clones of the green star that is 32 green stars before it. 
Since there aren't any levels in Super Mario 3D World with more than 32 green stars, this isn't a problem in the actual game. Let's try adding some more green stars. At 200 plus green stars, the level loads, but you'll notice something a bit weird. Listen carefully to what's happening here. Some of the camera movements and Mario's movements and Mario's jumps don't make the sound that they normally make, but the level music is still playing normally. Sometimes when there are too many objects loaded on a screen, some of the sounds in the game don't play correctly, and some things in the game behave a bit strangely. Mario now makes his way around to start collecting the green stars. The game is lagging as Mario is collecting all these stars. You can see that each green star is giving Mario 4,000 points, and his score is going up very quickly as he is collecting these stars. You might be wondering what happens if you overlap stars on the same position. Here I put the first six stars overlapping all on top of each other. You can see that the glow around this star is a lot brighter than all the other individual stars that aren't overlap. And if Mario collects this star here, he does get the first six stars all at once. Only one message pops up saying that you got 4,000 points, but you can see that Mario does have the correct amount of points from collecting six stars all at once. Since overlapping stars on the same position works, I was wondering what would happen if you overlapped stars and rotated them slightly. Once the game loaded up, I was fascinated! I don't know what it is about this, but I just couldn't stop staring at this, this looks so cool! All right. Here's an idea for something interesting that you could use in custom mods of Super Mario 3D World. You could stretch a green star to be really big, stack a bunch of stars all on the same spot, so that when you get the giant green star, it counts as several green stars. Here's a green star that's three times as big as normal, and it gives three green stars. Here's a green star that's six times as big as normal that gives six green stars, and a green star that's nine times as big as normal that gives nine green stars. You could also link these stars to enemies or bosses and make a giant green star spawn after you defeat these enemies. And you might be wondering just how big you can make a green star. Here is a green star that is 50 times as big as normal. Here is a green star that is 100 times as big as normal. Here is a green star that is 250 times bigger than normal. We are now inside this star, and we can see its eyes spinning around from time to time. In Spotlight, the level editor for Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, here is what the level Super Bell Hill normally looks like. And let's just zoom out for a moment here, heading away from the level, and here's what the green star looks like at 1000 times as big as normal. Super Bell Hill is now inside this star. When we load up the game, we see some interesting lighting changes and some large eyes that look like parts of a subway train passing by. If that's not enough, let's go 10,000 times as big as normal. Let's just scale this up in each of the three dimensions and then spend some time scrolling out and let's load up the game. Well, I don't see the eyes of the green star anymore, but we have this pulsating glowing effect. So I guess if you want to add a pulsating glowing effect like this to your level, you can add a star that's 10,000 times as big as normal. If you like learning about what is possible in games through both regular gameplay and hacking, in this video there is a lot of hacking to test what is possible. You might enjoy some of my other videos, and you're also welcome to click the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are released. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and take care everybody. Excellent. Yeah.